All right. Hello, wine drinking people. We are back. It's still Thursday, uh, the 11th of May and uh, the 12th of May. Sorry, a lot of good stuff going on this month. Hard to keep track of the day for some reason, but uh, a lot of drinking going on. And, you know, we're, we're usually pretty caught up in terms of, you know, within a day or two. And what I drank yesterday could be what I drank Tuesday. And we get to Thursday. And this is actually what I did drink Tuesday night. This was at the Tower Club. We've got a tasting once a month at the Tower Club. This is a private club on top of the Regents Bank building, a beautiful setting. Oh, like 10 people at this tasting, you know. And uh, for 35 bucks, you know, we try to give you at least 10, if not more, wines and uh, usually some great stuff. They don't put any food, just a little cheese plate, but, you know, a great place to network. A lot of, you know, high society folks have belonged to this Tower Club, but for some reason, like I said, we're just not getting the word out. But some great wines here, and we covered the whole expanse, all 200 kilometers of the Rhone Valley with this tasting, from things all the way up from the northern Rhone, like Cote Roti, and then all the way down south to Baume de Venise. And, uh, you know, we had two portfolios of wine on the table, one from Bobby Shatterton. We got a lot of great stuff from the Rhone Valley and even some older vintage stuff from him in the store at incredibly reasonable prices. And then Jean-Luc Colombo's portfolio with Jean-Luc is from Cornas and one of the lead flag bearers there. But some outstanding wines from Jean-Luc. And, uh, you know, here's a biodynamically, you know, farmed uh, vineyards that you can buy for $10 a bottle, some of his wines. Some of the best value coming out of France today is Cote de Rhone. And uh, also one of the most widely recognized wines in this country. When you look at, you know, it's Bordeaux or Champagne, some other widely recognized names, you cannot find near the value in those two wines you can in Cote de Rhone. All right, well, enough said about get off my soapbox for value in Rhone. You guys know how I feel about that. You know, Chateau Rodortier, another great value from the Cote de Rhone. This is Baume de Venise, one of the 16 villages that you can call Cote de Rhone. And uh, this wine has these lovely fresh berry pie-like aromas, black raspberry, black cherry fruit, highlights of fresh big flowers, herbs, a little hint of smoked uh, dried meats, classic Southern Rhone bouquet, 2005, a little bit tannic of a vintage, but finally starting to roll around right now. This wine's good after it's been open for a couple hours, even a day or two, and it'll last another 10 years in your cellar. One of the greatest values ever from the Cote de Rhone Appalachian, well, Baume de Venise. All right, next up, the Andre Perret Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph is an appellation that lies on both sides of the Rhone River, and rather large, and, you know, you find some kind of innocuous stuff that's not really great from there, but, you know, this is uh, uh, one of the greater producers. It's in Shatterton's portfolio, so, you know, notes of smoke, tobacco, spice, forest floor, an array of red currants and cherries, and this lovely velvety texture on the tongue, drinking beautifully right now. The 2008 vintage, not considered a great vintage, but like 2006, 2004, not, not quite as bad as 2002, but one that's drinking really nicely right now, a little hint of black pepper spice on the finish there, really nice little everyday wine for under 20 bucks. All right, the Dortier Gigondas. This was one of the hits of the tasting. 60% Grenache, 40% Syrah, like the opposite blend of the uh, Cote de Rhone Baume de Venise. And uh, just brimming with fresh flowers, herbs, what the French call garrigue. <coughs> a good amount of that fresh berry pie fruit also showing on this classic Southern Rhone bouquet. We went from south to north, and now we're back in the Southern Rhone here. This is uh, Gigondas in Appalachian next to Vacaras and Chateauneuf de Pape. Uh, but lovely freshness on the tongue, an array of that floral herbal notes showing, and uh, nice ripe fruit here, and a lovely savory edge to the finish, again with just a hint of that peppery spice. The Patrick Jasmine Cote Roti, it's a very classic producer, and uh, this wine really at the peak of its maturity right now, showing some lovely silky velvety tannins, sweet raspberry fruit intermixed with kind of apricot tone there, and uh, again, you know, really not a blockbuster, but showing at or near its peak right now. It's really nice to be able to offer our clients a 2001 Cote Roti from a great producer for right around 30 bucks. What a great value. Speaking of value, here comes Jean-Luc Colombo, folks. The rosé from him, just in time for summer. It seems like everyone's busting out their rosé, but this Cape Blue, what, for under $10, what a great little value. A blend of Morvedra, Syrah, and Cunaz, Cunaz, uh, fresh rose petals. Raspberry and strawberry fruit, really light on the palate and refreshing, finishing dry like all the great rosés from France. And under 10 bucks. All right, Jean-Luc Colombo Viognier. This is a drier style of Viognier. Lovely Asian pear and white pepper fruits. Hints of stone-like minerality, white flowers, and a little bit of white pepper spice. Very fresh and clean. A texture of like 2% milk. A really refreshing wine. Light, but very pleasant. 
Um, next up, the Cote de Rhone Blanc, one of the best values in the store. White wine, every time we show this wine, people fall in love with it. A blend of Viognier, Claret, Roussan, and Grenache Blanc. Lovely hints of lychee and fresh pear. Uh, perfume white floral notes, fresh and clean on the tongue uh, with those wet stones and floral notes showing on the finish. Again, with a hint of white pepper spice. All right, next up, the Cote de Rhone 09. Did I tell you guys, for 10 bucks, this wine's biodynamically produced. An incredible value, a great vintage 09 for the Rhone, just like it was for Bordeaux and Burgundy. And uh, really lovely, forward, seductive, and uh, has some of that fresh flowered herbs. Maybe not quite as rustic as the Shattered and stuff, but very smooth and drinkable style with lovely fresh fruit there. And a uh, really excellent little value there for $10. All right, the Chet Neuf de Pop 2006 Bardavi. And, you know, Jean-Luc Colombo's not based out of the south, but he does have some vineyards in the south he sources from. This is a classic Chet Neuf, lovely seductive vintage with a cherry pie kind of nose, hints of fresh flowers and herbs, that garrigue, really smooth and drinkable with that bright fruit showing on the palate and lovely freshness, uh, lovely acidity, a really nicely balanced Chet Neuf. All right, next up, the Cornas Trebolet. This is the money wine here, you know. They, we talked to Jean-Luc Colombo's. This is a blend of 50% Syrah and 50% Syrah. It's 100% Syrah, folks. That's what they do in Coronas. But, uh, you know, really exotic bouquet of fresh flowers, fresh plowed earth, animal, game-like notes, dark peri, uh, cherry pie, berry pie fruit, and uh, really unique and exotic, lovely earthy, kind of scorched earth notes to the palate, and uh, lovely freshness, those barnyard uh, uh, nuances echoing through the finish. A great wild bottle of wine. My pick for wine of the night. And that's what we had to drink at the Tower Club. Next up, more drinking in the store here with our good friends from Vintage Wines. Up next.